Hello and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K, and tonight we're doing Monaco Black Raspberry Cocktail. It is a premium mixed drink made with vodka, natural flavor, and certified colors. It is 9% alcohol by volume. Monaco's are hit or miss. Mm, I feel good about this one. You remember the purple one? Yeah, but that was made with cognac. This is made with mm. questionable vodka. Every vodka is questionable until you try it. Wow, that's the color that I was not expecting it to be. Uh, you know what a black raspberry is? Ah. Uh, Just a blackberry. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's also not a real kind of raspberry. Blue sure. ones and black ones, all raspberries are red. Stop making up colored raspberries. Cease. I'm pretty sure isn't is it's pretty much a blackberry, right? Yeah, that sound, that's what that sounds it like. Sort of a black like, raspberry would be a blackberry. It smells like raspberries and blackberries is what it smells like. Uh, very carbonated color is weird, dark red. It does just smell like blackberry. It smells kind of medicine-y, honestly. Juice. It smells thick. It smells like it's gonna like coat the inside of my mouth. It's very girthy. I don't know. Mmm. You know, interestingly enough, I know I made that face, but interestingly enough, no. I don't want more of this. You know what it tastes like? Yes. Kool-Aid. Kool it just tastes like Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid? I was thinking it tasted like uh, uh, Delsum. Uh, it tastes like coffee. I think it tastes like somebody spiked the Kool-Aid. All right. Somebody took some Kool-Aid. The, the, That's some the, very powerful Kool-Aid you right. drink. Well, I'm talking like the with, with the with with the the hardcore kids when they pour like five gallons of you know sugar in their um, Kool Aid, and then you know mama mama gets a glass of that Kool Aid and adds her little little vodka. A little bit of mama juice. Deal, to deal Mommy with, juice to deal with her uh, kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this is uh, not good. It's okay. I I, I it's not okay. Got, it's got that sort of red cherry, fake red cherry vibe going on, but it also tastes like foot. No, and, I, I and think I don't think it's I don't think there's that I don't think it's that offensive in the flavor. I think it's just a little too sweet for me. It is also very sweet. Um, you get foot. a little bit of um, it's definitely got like corn syrup or something in it. A little bit of foot. I'm not getting fermented uh, ferment, uh, fermented flavor. I'm not getting that. Foot. No, 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 this doesn't taste like fermented. Permittedness. Corn. This tastes like foot. It does not taste like this foot. This tastes like someone shoved their halitosis up in your face. You know what? Hal halitosis is not your not a foot. Is it not? What? Halito what, what do you get on your feet then? Halitosis is bad breath. What, whatever. <laughs> what, what do you get on your feet then? That's corns. A, a corn. Somebody's shoving their corns up in your face. Halitosis yeah, is bad breath. I don't know why I said halitosis. I was, I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, I think this is a solid six. I think it's above average. Uh, I wouldn't have any problems drinking it, however, it's really sweet. I think one can and done kind of deal. So if you're into these types of beverage or you want an alternative to Four Loco, this would be a good one. While it's not as a high of proof alcohol, it doesn't taste like uh, dirty socks. This is an alternative to Four Loco. It doesn't taste like dirty socks. I don't know if I prefer it over Four Loco, though. Eh, yeah, yeah, I prefer this over Four Loco, actually. Oh, the red Four Loco, definitely. It doesn't taste uh, like a dirty sock. It's uh, this is like a four. This is this is not good. Don't buy this. Go get it, get the purple one. You know the purple one is they good. They make a Kentucky Mule too, and a Moscow I mean, Mule. I know the purple one is good. Should definitely do that instead. I don't think it's that bad. But here we are with the black raspberry, which is not a real thing. We should have started with a beer. We should have started with a beer They're instead not cold of enough. started with a Monaco well, that's, black that's raspberry. That was what it was called. Blackberry, just. Well, it says you should drink it on the rocks, too. Get rid of the whole rasp part of this, and uh, and I would believe you. I, I don't believe this is a real thing, though. Anyways. All right. Well, if you like alcoholic Kool-Aid, then give this a try. Uh, that's Spikes been our episode. Pretty much. Well, it's not carbonated. You just get you a pressurized $200. Soda stream. You get a $200 pressurized growler, and you pressurize Ooh, your yes. Kool-Aid. You know what we're going to do now? You know what we're going to do? We're going to pressurize it. And Kool Aid. No, you know no, why? Why would we do? Because that? we have like nine pressurized growlers. Hey, yeah, we do actually. <laughs> we're gonna make we're gonna make our own cocktails. <laughs> we're doing it. Some fizzy cocktails with Kool Aid. If you guys want to see us make fizzy cocktails? Let us know in the comments down below. All right, that's been our episode. <laughs> if there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. 
Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I don't want any more of this. I'm